Hey, 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 Aries, this is your sacred scribe here, ready to do your Thursday, October 24th to the 25th Intuitive Love Tarot Read. So let's see what's going on for my Aries peeps out there. For all of those who are new to my channel, welcome. Please drop a like below, share, and subscribe if you already haven't before you leave. And for those who are returning, welcome back. I appreciate all your likes, shares, and subscriptions and comments. I love interacting with you guys. Well, 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 Aries. We have the King of Pentacles. This is your energy. The Justice card and the Four of Pentacles. You're holding on to your money, that's for sure. You're holding it very close. You're trying to... I'm hearing investing in something. This is why you're keeping it close. But it also has to do with planning for love in the future. This is a twin flame card of mine. It doesn't have to be, but I like to mention it. It is the number 11. 11 is a master number. And this is a psychic number, the number 11. So you're listening your, to your intuition when it comes to love and money. The King of Pentacles, you're taking a very grounded approach right now. You're being very practical and business savvy, they're saying. But you're balanced. You're trying to balance love and money. Love and work. But really I'm hearing love and money. Not so much work. It's love and money. Okay, so let's see what's coming towards my Aries people. Spirit, what can you tell me about what's coming towards Aries in relation to love? Or whoever this is resonating with. What messages do you have? Hmm. Anything else? This it. The Three of Wands and the Moon card. The Three of Wands is Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Energy. And this is a waiting card. Somebody's waiting for you. And I feel for some of you, this is a secret nobody knows about. They're waiting for something. This, this is in relation to the money. For some of you, you're planning on getting away. Like, it's like getting away, but not telling anybody about it. Hmm. The moon is the Cancer Pisces card for me as a reader. It's also number nine, and nine is about endings. So there is an ending of a cycle that I'm feeling here. They're saying this person's waiting is coming to an end. You know who this person is, for those of you who th this is resonating for. So how does this person, how is Aries responding to this waiting? Because you both know this secret. It's not like they're hiding a secret from you. It's, they're waiting and, and that's sort of hidden. Oh. Hmm. Interesting. So we have the Queen of Cups here. We have the Fool card, and we have Judgment card. You're definitely wanting to take a leap of faith with this person, with the Aries card here. This is leaping without looking, and you're ready to love, I'm hearing. You're ready to love this person. You're having epiphanies when it comes to love. Um, this also talks about balance with the number 20 here. This is a two. And Archangel Michael looking over this union. 
but also I'm hearing that he is awakening to you, awakening you and the other person to some things that you need to be aware of. And it's in relation to the secret. It's in relation to the secret. The Queen of Cups is very intuitive. You're using your intuition, Aries, when it comes to this person, the secret you're holding, when to reveal it, when you're going to get away. They keep saying, get away. <laughs> it's like, I almost feel like some of you are in trouble with the law or something and you're trying to get away together that's sort of the feeling that that I'm having like you're trying to get away with something and I think this judgment card is here for that exact purpose for the purpose of you being aware of the consequences interesting Aries okay so let's see how this changes your energy how does this change your energy Aries the Queen of Wands, the Eight of Pentacles. In the Queen of Pentacles, now we have balance here. The King and Queen of Pentacles. I feel that Archangel Michael has something to do with this balance because this, this brings in a softer side to you, Aries. And this love situation is something that you want to work on and you're continuing to work on. You're very passionate about this. You know what you want. You're very confident and you're headed in the direction no matter what anybody says. I do believe that there are some things that you became aware of or sort of awakenings, these mini awakenings that Archangel Michael sent to you. That's what I'm hearing, sent to you, that opened your eyes, but more importantly, opened your heart in relation, again, to the secret. Okay, how does this person respond? How does this person respond to your energy change? The star card. The Five of Pentacles, oh, the Devil card, and the Ace of Wands. Something's hidden here, Aries, where this Five of Pentacles, it's almost like for some of you, you're hiding this person. You're hiding this person. They're feeling left out. Okay, but yet at the same time, you are their wish come true. You are where the healing for them is at. You are their passion that they want for a new beginning. They want a new beginning in love and passion with you. And the sexual chemistry is extremely high. It's through the roof. But this five of pentacles leaves them lacking. It could be in money. It could be in money. Money is strong with this person. I'm gonna I, I I I gotta find out and see if I can find out what the secret is. What is this moon card? Tell me more about this moon card. What is this secret that is between them? Four of swords, waiting, more waiting. More peace and out. You're both waiting. Tell me more about this moon card. What are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? Hmm, strength and the magician card. You're trying to manifest something. You're trying to have the confidence to do so, but holding yourself back, taming the beast. Okay, strength for what? The magician, I get. You're trying to manifest something, and this has to do with money. So tell me about the strength card. Hmm. Pulling back your emotions. Ace of Cups is emotion, is love, is self-love, but I'm feeling more from another. It's like you have to hold back your emotions for this person or vice versa. 
And this is where they're feeling the lack. They can't express it because this is all a secret. Some of you may be married and the other person is waiting. Wow. Okay, so how do you respond? How do you respond to this Five of Pentacles? So I don't so much want to hear about the other energy. We already know. I mean, um, the Five of Pentacles energy, how does Aries respond to this person feeling this lack? Knight of Cups, you're going to offer love. You're going to offer love, but again, it's going to have to be in secret, I'm hearing. Okay, so let's fast forward, Spirit, to the future. I wish I knew more about this secret. Okay, the Hermit card. More going within. More piecing out. Enlightenment, they just said. Somebody's second guessing. Somebody's second guessing something. A step they made within this trying to manifest believing you're the magician right Aries but you're second guessing maybe you had a misstep and one of the steps that you made you forgot something and it's it's a mistake of some sort that you're like damn how did I fuck that up are you kidding me the hangman Pisces card more waning but the good thing about the hangman that I like is that it is the number three. It is a, it's a 12, right? Yeah, it's a 12 that breaks down to a three. Three is all about manifesting. So when you come out of this uh, phase, this waiting, this looking at things from a different perspective, you will have a better grasp at how to manifest. And it's this mistake that you're looking within about. You're wondering what to do about it. Seven of Cups, confusion. They're not telling me anything about, besides, I know this has to do largely with money and getting away. So I don't know if you did something illegal with money and this is why you need to get away and you're worried about the misstep that you made with it. One of the steps that you made. Okay, one more card. One more card. What is the future for these two? What is in store for the future for these two? What is their ultimate destiny together? What is their ultimate destiny together? Two of Cups. So you are meant to be together. This is soulmate twin flame energy. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. So whoever this is, okay, you know, illegal happenings are not romantically so. You're supposed to be together. This is, I love you, you love me. Let's make a happy family. This is very hot in the bedroom. This is on the same page. Uh, this is being in sync with one another. Being balanced. Telepathic, they're saying too, for some of you. If this is a twin, that would make sense. You do have the justice card here. Okay, Aries, well, I hope you resonated with that. Comment down below and let me know if this is your story. I want to know what the frick this secret is, if you can tell me. So I hope you enjoyed that. I did. I Also, like, share, and subscribe right below before you leave and comment if this is your story, please. I want to know. So you have a great day, Aries, and I will talk to you tomorrow.